Okay, so here's the problem that I've recently solved with these five magical apps. Like you, I read a lot of books, I browse a lot of articles on the internet, I listen to a hell of a lot of podcasts, and I'm always scrolling through Twitter when I'm on the toilet. And across these dozens of hours of content consumption every day, I will occasionally come across uh, highlights or interesting bits that resonate with me or things that are surprising or things like insights that I want to capture for later. But until very recently, I didn't have a way of logging these insights. And so I would spend all of this time over the last like 10 years plus of my life, listening and reading and browsing and watching all of this stuff and only really taking away a fraction of it and remembering even less of it and applying even less of it to my life, which kind of begs the question that why was I wasting all this time consuming all of this stuff if I wasn't going to then, you know, do something with it further down the line. But now we've got these five apps that work together seamlessly to form what I like to call the magical insight logging framework, an automatic method for capturing and logging all of the insights that we get from books, articles, podcasts, and even tweets. All right, so let's start with the first three apps that make up the consumption layer, which is the first part of the magical insight logging framework. The first on this list and the least interesting is Kindle. So if you're reading books on Kindle, which I've been doing since like 2008, when the Kindle first came out, I think, as you're reading stuff, you can highlight stuff, which is pretty fantastic. This works really nicely on a desktop or laptop as well. You can just select a passage, you can highlight it, you can highlight in different colors, uh, and you can do that on the iOS and the iPad and Android. Basically, on the Kindle app across any of your devices, you can highlight passages. The second app in our five-part stack is a read it later app like Instapaper or Pocket, and Instapaper is the one that I use. And the idea is that anytime I come across an article or a blog post on the internet that I want to read, but I don't want to read it there and then, then I will share it to Instapaper. And there's all sorts of ways of sharing it. You can use the iOS share extension. You can email it to Instapaper. You can use the Chrome or Safari extension. There are hundreds of ways of getting stuff into Instapaper. And actually, this is one of my biggest productivity hacks in general. It's that I will always come across interesting emails with interesting articles, but I'll almost never read them there and then. I will always save them to Instapaper so that then when I'm next in the mood to read stuff, I open up the Instapaper app on my iPhone or iPad or on the web, and they've got apps for Android and stuff as well. I open it up and I've just got this long list of articles that I've saved that I can then start reading through one by one for however long I like. And the really cool thing about Instapaper and Pocket is that while you're reading these articles on whatever device you want, you can highlight them. And that is how we are going to be inputting our insights in our insight logging framework. So here's an article from Common Cog. Let's say, don't forget about the world outside the book. Let's say I, you know, for some reason that passage like really resonates with me and I think, oh, this is an incredible insight. I want to highlight this. I can just highlight it and hit the highlight button and it will be highlighted. Or even if I want, I can highlight something and I can add a note to it. This is a test note that I'm adding to this highlight. So I can take notes on the highlights that I'm reading as I'm going through them. And app number three is a magical app that is unfortunately only available for iOS. They're working on an Android version. And this is now how I consume all the podcasts that I listen to. And this is a truly magical app called air.io. Highlight and share the best moments from podcasts. So let me show you what this looks like. So Air is now my podcast app of choice on iOS and I can go on Air and I can go through all of the podcasts that I wanna to listen to. Um, so it's a pretty standard podcast player so far, but the truly magical thing about Air and why it's now my favorite podcast app is while you're listening to a podcast, you can hit this big quote button in the middle and that lets you take an Air quote, which is a fantastic name. And essentially what that does is while you're listening to a podcast, if you hear something that's particularly insightful or that resonates with you, you hit the Air quote button and it will automatically create an Air quote from the last 30 seconds to 60 seconds of the stuff that you've listened to and you can change that amount of time if you want. So while I'm listening to this episode of The Portal, with Eric Weinstein and Ryan Holiday. We still want to play the same games. They won't let us tell our stories. I mean, like. I've come across something that resonates with me and I'm going to hit. You know, the whole meet The air quote button. And what that's going to do is it's going to automatically turn it into an air quote. And then it gives me the option of titling it something. So Ryan Holiday comment about meaning in life or something like that. And now it's saved it as an air quote. And what's really cool is that Air automatically generates transcripts for a lot of the most popular podcasts. And so when you create an Air quote, if the transcription is available, it will basically just create a highlight for you. And this is completely game changing because before this app, it was not possible to take notes from podcasts. And so with this episode, while I was listening to it over the weekend, I took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Air quotes from it because those were the bits that particularly resonated with me. So we've got those three apps that make up the consumption layer of the Magical Insight Logging Framework. Let's now talk about the integration layer. And this 
is a very special app that I've been loving for the last like two years since I first discovered it, and that is called Readwise. And you can find that at readwise.io, and there is a special link in the video description. If you use my code, you will get an extended free trial for 60 days rather than 30 days if you want to try it out. And so what Readwise is, is amongst other things, it is the integration layer for my system. So what it's doing, it's bringing together all of the highlights that I've created from the three consumption apps. And so if I sign into my Readwise, what we'll see is that it brings together books, articles, tweets, and podcasts. So when it comes to books, it automatically connects to my Amazon account because I've given it permissions. And so I've got these 107 books that I've been highlighting on Kindle for the last several years. And what it's doing is that it's just bringing together all of my highlights from these books all into one place. But it's not just books, it's also automatically connecting to Instapaper. And so any article that I've highlighted, and we can see I've got highlights all the way back from 2019 when I first started using Instapaper when I discovered this, it basically takes all of the highlights and puts them all in one place. So this is an article I read in Buffer, and these were seven of the passages that I highlighted from that that particularly resonated with me. Recently as well, they've added tweet and podcast functionality. So for tweets, for example, if I come across a tweet that I'm browsing uh, and I find that it particularly resonates with me, all I have to do is send that tweet to the Readwise Twitter account and it will automatically save the tweet or save the thread into Readwise. So again, bringing all in one place. And finally, more recently, they've added podcast support. So it automatically connects to Air because I've linked up my Air.io account with Readwise. And now all of the Air quotes that I'm capturing from podcasts are automatically being synced into Readwise. So here are some highlights that I took from the Hugh Jackman episode of The Tim Ferriss Show. And because Air had a transcript available for it, like all of the quotes that I've got from this episode are now all in one place in Readwise. So that's all well and good. We've got this app that integrates all of these different highlights from these different sources, but what's the point of it? Well, there's two main benefits of this. Firstly, the traditional Readwise service and what I've been kind of talking on my channel for the last two years since I first discovered it, is that if you want, every day Readwise can send you an email that has five of your highlights that's randomly surfaced. But very recently, they've added another feature and that makes this absolutely game-changing and part of the Magical Insight logging framework. And that feature is that Readwise can now automatically export all of its highlights to Notion, which is the app that I'm using for my second brain. So as you'll know, if you've been following this channel for a while, Notion is the app that I use for my second brain. It's my central external note-taking system that basically organizes my entire life. For the record, Notion are very kindly sponsoring this video, but they don't have any creative control over what's being said. And it's one of those things where I've been using Notion for such a long time, since like, I don't know, February, March, 2019. And it is a perfect stroke of luck that they also wanna sponsor my videos because, and don't tell anyone, I would make these videos anyway, even if they didn't sponsor them, uh, but we'll keep quiet about that. Anyway, I use Notion for everything. It organizes my life, it tracks my workouts. I use it when studying for my exams. So when preparing for the USMLE, uh, the US medical exam that I've been live streaming on Twitch every morning, check out my Twitch profile link in the video description. I also use Notion to manage every aspect of my businesses and this YouTube channel and writing scripts and editing and working with my team. It just does so many things. And the best bit is Notion is now completely free of charge. You only pay for Notion if you working with a team. So if you're an individual, if you're a student, you can use Notion for free for however long you want, for whatever you want. It's absolutely fantastic. Hit the link in the video description if you want to check it out. But yeah, thanks Notion for sponsoring this video. And so the best thing ever is that Readwise now automatically exports into Notion. And so what that means is that when you link your Notion account to Readwise, what it does is that it creates this special Readwise page, which just brings together all of the highlights, all of the insights that you've gathered from books, articles, podcasts, and tweets. And this is really freaking cool, right? So for example, this is the library for everything, but if I wanna look at books, here are all the books that I've read that I've highlighted, um, and I can go into one of them, let's go Tribe of Mentors, and I can automatically see every single one of the highlights that I've gotten here. And if I click on one of these locations, it will open up the Kindle app to that location where I've made the highlight if I want to find the context behind what I was thinking at the time. Here we go. In the last five years, what new belief, behavior, or habit has most improved your life? Happiness is a choice you make and a skill you develop. The mind is just as malleable as the body, blah, 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 from Tribe of Mentors by Tim Ferriss. And this works with everything. Let's like, if I click on articles, I can filter it by all the articles that I've read. Let's see, Mark Manson's post, how to 80-20 your life. And in this post, I highlighted these two things. In 1906, there was an Italian economist, blah, blah, blah economic output on a larger scale, like that clearly resonated with me at the time, which was in uh, November, 2019. And because I highlighted this on Instapaper, which is connected to Readwise as the integration layer, which then spits out its output to Notion as my second brain, it's now here all in one place. 
and I can do that with a recent podcast I've listened to that I've highlighted. For example, here's the Hugh Jackman one and it's got all of the highlights for me in Notion with nice cover art and, and stuff, so it just looks pretty. And it even does that with tweets, which I've only started doing recently because I actually didn't realize you could do this. So for example, this is a thread that I bookmarked that I've now shared into Readwise, which has now gone into Notion. Get a cup of coffee. In this thread, I'll help you work out how much money you need to retire. So when I read this thread of 39 things, I was like, oh, this is cool, I'll save it. But then it was, it's been sitting in my Twitter bookmarks for, I don't know, absolutely ages. But now I've got it all in Notion, all in one place. So those were the five apps in the Magical Insight Logging Framework. If you also have this problem where you're consuming too much stuff, books, articles, podcasts, tweets, whatever, and you don't have like a system for mining the insights from that idea and actually applying them to your own life and remembering them, then I'd really recommend you set up your own Magical Insight Logging Framework. You don't have to use all of these apps. Uh, Kindle, I would 100% recommend to everyone. Instapaper versus Pocket, you can use both. Air is the only way of doing this with podcasts at the moment. Readwise is fantastic. And for your second brain, Readwise also outputs to Notion, Roam, and Evernote. So you're not tied into any one app for this sort of thing. But as I said, the one that I use for my second brain is Notion and I swear by it and I love it. And I just basically organize my entire life around Notion. And I remember that back in the day, like two years ago, anytime people would recognize me on the streets or something, hashtag flex, uh, they would come up to me and say, hey Ali, you know, I watched your iPad videos and I bought an iPad or an iPad Pro because of your recommendation. But in the last like 18 months or so, not one person has said to me, I've bought an iPad because of your recommendation. Instead, now the thing that people say to me when they meet me in real life is, I started using Notion because of you and it's changed my life, so thank you. So if you wanna find out more about how I use Notion to organize my life and supercharge my productivity, hit the little playlist over here. That'll be some of my top performing videos about how I use Notion, the behind the scenes of my magical system. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.